Hello guys, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to evaluate without the use of calculator 9 power 6 minus 9 power 7. Now, if you observe very well, the power here is 6 and the power here is 7. So, how are we going to go about it? Now, we can have it as 9 power 6 minus 9 power 7 is simply 6 plus 1. At this point, we apply this identity a power m plus m equals a power n times a power m. So we are going to have 9 power 6 minus 9 power 6 times 9 power 1. So this will give us 9 power 6 minus 9 power 6 times 9 because 9 power 1 is 9. Now the next thing we're going to do is we have 9 power 6 here. We have 9 power 6 here. We can factor that out. We have 9 power 6 times we divide 9 power 6 by 9 power 6. We have 1 minus we divide 9 power 6 by 9 power 6. We have 1. 1 times 9 is 9. So this will give us 9 power 6 times 1 minus 9. Is negative 8. So what we're going to do next is some people can leave the answer here but we are going to get it to the simplest form. Now 9 here is a perfect square we can have it as 3 power 2 or power 6 then we have times negative 8. And also don't forget from this identity if you have a power n or power m this also equals a power n or power n. Look at it, there's a change in powers. So that's what we are going to apply here. We are going to have 3 power 6 or power 2 times 8. And we can have this times negative 1. So the next thing we're going to do is, what is the value of 3 power 6? 3 power 6 simply means 3 into 6 places. And the value is 7 to 9. So we are going to have 7 to 9 raised to the power of 2 times 8 times negative 1. So what is the square of 7 to 9? We can simply have it as 700 plus 29 raised to the power of 2. And everything here. We multiply 8 and we have times negative 1. So at this point, this is in the form of a plus b raised to the power of 2. And this equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And in which our a equals 700 and b equals 29. So that means we are going to have 700 squared plus 2 times 700 times 29 plus 29 squared. And 700 squared will give you 490,000 plus 2 times 700 times 29 will simply give you 4600 plus 29 squared will give you 841 and everything here we add it and multiply it by 8 and we still have times negative 1. Now the next thing we're going to do is to add up everything here. So we are going to have 490,000 then we have 4600 then we have 841. Now we add up. So that means we are going to have 1. We have 4. 0 plus 6, 6, 6 plus 8. We are going to have 14. We have 4. And carry over 1 here. We have 1. Then we have 9 plus 4. That is 13. So we are going to have 3 and carry over 1 here and we have 5. So you have 5, 3 
one four four one. Now this will then multiply it and also multiply negative one. Now the next thing you're gonna do is to have five three one four four one times eight. So let's go ahead and multiply it by eight. So what we're gonna do is we have eight times one, we have eight. Eight times four, that is thirty-two. So what are you gonna do is we have two and carry over three. Eight times four again, thirty-two. Thirty-two plus three, that is thirty-five. We have five and carry over three. Now we have eight times one, that is eight. Eight plus three, that is eleven. We have one and carry over one. Have you seen that? Now we have eight times three, that is twenty-four. Twenty-four plus one, that is twenty-five. So what are you going to do is we have five and carry over two, and finally we have eight times five, that is forty. Forty plus two. We have forty-two. So what we have is we have four million two hundred and fifty-one thousand five hundred and twenty-eight, and this will simply multiply negative one. So what we're going to have finally is negative four two five one five two eight, and this becomes the final answer. Now I believe you have seen the video and you have enjoyed it. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video. If there's any question, you can leave it at the comment box. And that is it. Thank you and goodbye.